Neville Goddard said to sufficiently impress upon yourself. He also talked about the secret of surrender. This is not an act of will. This is an act of surrender. This is an act of sufficiently impressing upon yourself. My name is Mr. 2020, and I want to welcome you to another exciting episode of the Neville Goddard Podcast. It is 7.03 a.m. Tuesday, the 1st of August. In six days, we start Dream Driven Day. You may not want to miss out on this one. About 8 billion people in the world will, let's be honest. And about 30 people will get to work with us directly. That could be you. But what I want you to do today is fall in love. Neville Goddard said to sufficiently impress upon yourself. He said prayer is not an act of will, it is an act of surrender. And he said you are love. You are love. You are love. You are the wisdom, you are the power, you are the operant power. And above all else, you are love. So fall in love. And remarkable, we're moving up to the month of wonder, the month of grace. And I just, I just experience a life full of wonder, a life full of wow. I've taken the time, I've invested the moment, I sufficiently impress upon myself. If it's true, if what I am is love, if what I am is the wisdom and the power of God, if what I am is the operant power, if what I am above all else is love, If it's true, this is not an act of will making something happen. If I'm right, if Neville is right, your job is to fall in love with who you've chosen to be, with what you've chosen to do. If you missed it, you may want to get manifesting to the max.com. That's a massive little pack. That's a little massive. It's a massive pack. Manifesting to the max.com. That is the first time that was 2016 where we went full bore with this whole thing of identity based manifesting. And you'll notice my core states, loving husband, loving teacher, loving puppy, dad. Since then, I've, I've decided to include something else. Loving, happy teacher. Loving, happy husband. Loving, happy puppy dad. Because if I was truly loved and loving, I'd be happy, wouldn't I? Can you tell how happy I, happy I am to make this podcast for you? When I reply to your emails, can you tell how happy I am that you're diving deeper? You guys that have purchased or participated in live calls or get the live call recordings, you can hear the swearing, the caring, and the sharing, the laughter, the love. Sufficiently impress upon yourself that you are who you've chosen to be, that you have what you've chosen to have. Happy loving husband, happy loving teacher, happy loving puppy dad. We didn't always have puppies. We weren't always married. Look for a while that I like was leaving. I did have to leave for a while. It was hard to get back. I got detained for three hours. What are you doing here? I fell in love. I want to marry a girl. Swear to God. Three hours later, they let me out of the interrogation room. And they said, you made some mistakes. You have some visa violations, but here's what we're going to do. And here we are. 
I so fell in love with being a citizen. I so fell in love with being an Australian. I so fell in love being happy, loving husband, happy, loving teacher, happy, loving puppy dad. We've been given two dogs. You know them. From lovely people. You know some of them too. And not one ounce of this has come from willpower. 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 Repeat. 10,000 affirmations with emotion. Push. Make it happen. Why bother? Neville Goddard talks about Milliken. He doesn't say do what Milliken did. Milliken locked himself in a room, starved and sweated himself for 20-some hours. He, says, he said if you could move like Milliken moved. This is why he taught it's not an act of will, it's an act of surrender. And you sufficiently impress upon yourself. And what you are is love. You are the wisdom, you are the power, you are the love of God. If you want to take a trip down memory lane, we've got some really cool shit. It's our archaeology at manifestingtothemax.com. It is really cool stuff. It's time-tested and proven. We we came out with that course in 2016. Now it's kind of cool. I mean, you can download it all at once, listen to it in the course of a week or two, take your time, make it into a 90-day program, email us anytime. That's manifestingtothemax.com. And that is where identity-based manifesting came from. And as you can tell, I'm a little nuts about it. And I'd love for you to know exactly why and how we did it back then. So you can play with it now. That's manifestingtothemax.com. And now, let us right now, you and me, happy loving husband, happy loving puppy dad, happy loving teacher, and you, let us go into the silence. Thank you for listening. Dive deeper, soar higher. And remember, fall in love. See ya.